You typically think of your garden as something to enjoy during the daylight hours, but this time of year in the heat and humidity, well, the best time to be outdoors is in the evening. Have you ever thought about moonlight gardening? And what exactly is that? Well, Melody McDaniel is here with us this morning to explain, and well, you've opened my eyes to something brand new here, the idea of creating a garden you can enjoy in the evenings. Exactly. Like you said, it's cooler, but you can use different senses too. So for sight, you want to use flowers that are white or silver. So you see we've got an, a mix of those here. They're reflecting of the light, mm -hmm. the moonlight. You can also use fragrance it's like this one. This is a gardenia. Also jasmine or another that are fragrant mm -hmm. adds a different element. So when you're out in the evening and you see these cool tones and this fragrance mm -hmm. and also even um, creeping thyme is one that you can put on the, the ground to walk past and it lifts up that fragrance as well. So it's just imagining using your garden in a different way and using all your senses. Right. And, you know, of course, you addressed <coughs> the color first that's going to reflect some of the moonlight. And I noticed this right here, it's already got a shiny quality to it. So I can imagine it, that would be really pretty with Isn't that great? So this is an anthurium. Tropicals like this are really beautiful in the summer and they, they grow really fast. So you get a great bloom from them. Mandavia is another one that's next to it, a really pretty white there. You can do this in the sun or shade. Mm -hmm. So we've got some plants next to you that are for shade. You've got the caladiums, big beautiful leaves. And that's another thing when you choose bolder and bigger patterns, they're easier to see in the evening. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so what other varieties do we have down here? So also you can think of silver plants and variegated plants. This is an iris, which is beautiful. It has a purple bloom, but the foliage itself is really showy in a night garden and adds a different texture. You've got some ivy here. This is Angelonia and Vinca. One of my favorites is down front. That's the lamb's ear. You can kind of see where it gets its name, right? <laughs> yes. The fuzzy texture, <laughs> but also some daisies. So this is a daisy here at Echinacea. Also, those are perennial, so they'll come back year after year. Perfect. All <laughs> right. So you, you're helping us with this summer heat and humidity so we can enjoy our garden, not just year round, but any time of day or evening. That's right. Thank you, Melody. Great tips.